and here we are at our new place for a couple of days of our four days in Cosmet and this is our view from from our room look at that stunningly beautiful this is rainy season remember rainy season so don't be afraid to come to Thailand in rainy season so I'll take you up and I'll show you the room and this one for a night was 1,500 baht a night to have a beautiful location as you can see we've been to 7-Eleven and got some snacks because there's no restaurants here and no food so you've got to go out for food but look at that view, a million dollar view beautiful and in the room it's a basic hut but very nicely don't have a big king size bed nice flooring, fridge little flat screen TV air conditioning walk in shower and bathroom very nice and most of all this is why we booked it this is the view from your window so you can hear the sea on the night time relaxing this is where we're going to spend our evening after we've been out for, for the evening meal beautiful leave your comments down below how beautiful you think this is Beautiful gardens, set in the tropical paradise, beautiful. Yeah. Pity the bar isn't open, maybe there's not enough guests to open up a bar. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely view. Snorkeling trips, a little bit over in the distance just there. And there's the bar. So retired life. It's not a bad life, is it, once you've been retired. It takes some getting used to. But at the end of the day, it's what you make it yourself, whether you enjoy being retired or not. Don't ever think that being retired is boring. You make your own pathway once you're retired. It's your own mental attitude as to what you want to do. I know, I've worked all my life. I've only ever had two weeks off work since I left school, and that was the first two weeks and then I've worked up until I was 50 years old and I've done little bits and pieces after 50 year old but more for helping other people out and just to keep your mind active but I much prefer the holiday lifestyle the holiday lifestyle is much much nicer I mean look at this where would you want to spend your time in an office or sat here sat here it's 1500 baht a night to stay where we are and as far as being chilled out is concerned it's <laughs> I can't explain as to how beautiful it is so when you see the credit crunch and again I watched the news this morning what's going on in, in England with with what's going on everything seems to be falling to pieces and uh, I'm sat a million miles away from here well to be precise, over 6,000 miles away. And I've got no interest what happens, what's happening in the UK. It's crazy what's going on. The credit crunch, the, the poverty. And as I said, this, the life that I live here in Thailand, is on less than half I used to earn when I left the UK 2010 that's when I retired 2010 so living here 
Oh, I can't think the last time I was stressed over anything. So just living a stress-free life is one of the best things you can do. And you can do that. Everybody is capable of doing that. Living in Thailand is cheap, but you can't live here with no money. You've got to have some money to be able to live here. So if anybody's got any questions, or want to ask anything, leave a, a message down below. And I try to get back to everybody. And um, long may retirement last. You can be here too. This is the rainy season in Thailand. Look at the sky. Beautiful. This is our third day of four days in Koh Samet. Our first day was a little bit over, overcast and cloudy. But now, beautiful skies. The sea is, is like a mill pond. It's very, very flat. And we just love life here. Just sat watching the world go by in our little resort on Koh Samet, about 30 minutes away from where we live in Rayong and we can come here anytime we want and we're going to stop on Koh Samet for four nights altogether um, because it's it's relatively cheap to stay here and the, the hotel that we stayed at earlier on the Blue Moon Hotel I'll put a link up here I've done a review of that before about the Blue Moon Hotel it's literally one minute walk from the high street and less than five minutes walk to White Sands Beach so if you want to stay in Koh Samet on a budget Blue Moon Hotel is, is good this one is sort of a little bit further out and um, you do need sort of transport that you hear I mean Koh Samet really isn't a big island anyway but walking distance to a couple of um, beach bars and restaurants if you want to walk but it's much more easy to carry around with here on the scooter. The scooters are about 300 baht a day to, to hire with free uh, fuel, so it doesn't cost you much to, to hire a, a scooter here. Where we are now, there is no restaurant here, no bar, um, no food, no snack places, so you, you've got to be prepared when you come here. But the accommodation and the peacefulness and tranquility of the place this is what we wanted. We wanted to be able to look at the sea from our veranda and we can. It, it's, a, it's a lovely view. It's just peace and tranquility for 1,500 baht a night. It's lovely. Course a mess. Give it a try. You'll like it. In rainy season, and it's not the best of weather today, it's a little bit overcast, but look at it. 10 o'clock in the morning, probably more people today than it was on our first day, White Sands Beach. So up to now, two good days, two overcast days, but rainy season in Met. would I come? If you're looking for peace and tranquility, yes, I would come. But if you're looking for nightlife, bar times, party times, then maybe it's not because...